Hey everyone, Jingo here. So, patch 1.61 has just dropped and I've been flying the P47N for a while now. A day and a half. <laughs> In a realistic battle, we're gonna check out what this plane can do, what its strengths are, what its weaknesses are. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. Now we are at the moment approaching 4000 meters. We have been side climbing in the back. And um, well, <laughs> what can I say? This is the N. It is based off the D with a few changes. They changed the wings to incorporate some more fuel tanks inside the wings, a thing that the D model doesn't have. It makes the shape of the wings different, it makes the plane a little heavier, which makes the climb rate not all that good. The cutoff wings, the clip wings, they give the plane a slightly better roll rate. And uh, in reality the plane had a better range than other models because of the added fuel tanks. Now there is of course a better engine in this plane as well. So a little bit more top speed, a little bit more horsepower. Which is all good. The horsepower compensates for the extra weight. So the climb rate is more or less the same than the D model. But uh, the climb rate is not that great. And as you know, the P-47, to perform on its best level, the P-47 needs to be on altitude, preferably above 6,000 meters. And it's very difficult to get there. These A-7Ms, for example, have better climb rate than this P-47 and could have gotten um, on better altitude. In this game, though, we did manage to get on a good altitude and we had a decent game but uh, this plane on 5.0 for me is a bit uh, meh <laughs> because it is closer to the D than it is to the M yeah, I know I can't trust stat cards, stat cards are bullshit I almost never look at them but uh, the stat card difference between the M and this one is so huge that I wanted to mention it. This plane has a climb rate of 8.4 in realistic battle, 8.4 meters per second. And the M model has 15.9. So that's almost twice as much according to the stat card. The stat card isn't real of course, the difference isn't that big, but this plane is closer to the D, which is at the moment on much lower battle rating than this 5.0 3.0 I believe that's two point differences and this plane has to compete with a different grade of plane than the D model and it is not much better regarding everything I mean it rolls a little better that's fine and um, it has higher top speed but it is not as fast as the M model and the climb rate is more or less the same as the D model. So This plane is often outclassed, let's say that. But if you do get it to altitude, you can wreak havoc on the enemy team still. Even with the nerfed 50 cals, the 50 cals were decreased in damage again. Uh, apparently they hadn't been decreased enough in the last patch. So they decreased the damage output. Some more. I don't know why, but the 50 cals are now. Well, if you get them on target, 8, 850 cals, they still can get a plane down, of course. But you get a lot more hits, and it's a lot tougher to shoot planes down with 50 cals these days. Anyway, we had a nice sequence there with some some good dives on on uh, planes, some good approaches with some good teamwork from the other people up high here. So that was quite nice to see this American team doing their best to work together to defeat the Japanese. If you are in a in an American team against the Japanese, you often lose. Hit with a hit, we shoot off his wingtip. 
And I don't want him to continue flying, don't want somebody else to get the kill. So we are diving after him, we get him there already. So very nice, this was my best match in this uh, plane. I had a lot of uh, matches where I had uh, one kill with two assists, stuff like that. You get that a lot, whether that's due to the 50 cal damage reduction for my aim. I would imagine <laughs> that it is due to the 50 cals. I've been having uh, yeah, fun times with that. So my ally here shoots down the last guy in the match. He goes down and basically... Oh no, 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 there's one guy left. Excuse my bad mathematics. There's one guy left. That guy also uh, observes that we have some great teamwork going on there. Waiting for each other and stuff like that. In a squad, I think, even at the point where this plane is at, you could, with a squad of two or three, you could do a lot of uh, bad stuff with this plane. You can support each other. But solo, in the average team, this plane, you know, you have a competition of BF-109s with a double your climb rate, pit fires, uh, the Japanese even, the A7M here, and uh, the key. 84, they are all better climbers than you and, and from the other side as well the uh, 38 the Typhoons if you go on uh, If you go into a mixed battle which happens also Anyway in this game we got first place with three air kills and Had a satisfactory max match there Let's take a look at the results Now we have Terror of the Sky and Bulletproof. You've got 63,000 Silver Lions and 5,400 research points for the B57. Three kills, first in the team. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now looking at the P47N, I love the jugs. Let's get that out of the way. I love the D models at their battle rating. I love the P47M at its battle rating. But the N is a little bit of a black sheep of the family, in War Thunder that is. And I wouldn't say it is bad, because if you, f if you side climb with it in RB and you are disciplined with it, you can get a kill, sometimes two in a match, and you can get a, a positive kill-death ratio without much of a problem. The problem is that it is often not fighting in its ideal circumstances because it has the climb rate of the D's, uh, even worse actually because of the different wings which was done because they wanted to give this plane more range. They added fuel tanks in the wings, this added weight and that's why the plane became heavier and it got less climb rate because of that even compared to the d models the better engine made up for it a little bit so it's almost comparable to the d models but uh, yeah it is a uh, far cry away from the m model which uh, yeah in the stat cards although the stat cards are not trustworthy let's say that but has a much better climb rate the speed of the n is very comparable to the um, to the m model it is still a fantastic plane for boom and zoom. It, is, it has a great acceleration in a dive. It has a fantastic top speed in a dive. It has a great energy retention because of its weight. Only when you start turning, it loses speed a lot. So you want to avoid that if you can. And in most situations, you don't want to turn when you have a plane behind me, but you want to extend first, create a gap and then turn around. The problem with this plane also is that the 50 cals have gotten another nerf in this patch. The damage output has been reduced again, like it hasn't hadn't been reduced enough in the previous patch. So it were, you also have less firepower than it used to have. And that really is not very good for the plane. As you in passes, you often get hits, but you don't get the fires as much anymore. And you also do less damage, you don't get as much crits, and you just get less kills with this plane. I have to cry in a corner for the 50 kills, to be honest. And this plane, yeah, it's more of a D, and with a climb rate. I don't know what it's doing at 4.7 in realistic battle, to be honest. That's my conclusion, let me know what you think. 
in the comments below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. You know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment. You know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments I always try to respond to them so again I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye